Who are you? Schmirk, the voice. Little Dirk, welcome back to Chicago. Summer Smash. No, for sure. How you feeling? Good. What do you think about tonight? Tonight, crazy. You know, Cole Bennett always show love. Speaking of Cole Bennett, he's not here right now. What can you say about the Summer Smash, Cole Bennett? Like, it's amazing. It's so huge now. Yeah, and no, I super appreciate him, though, for building my grandma's house out for me. You know what I'm saying? Last minute. So, shout out Cole. And all the videos he shot for you. What do you remember all the videos that Cole has done? All the views. All the millions and millions of views. Is it easy to work with Cole? What's it like to work with Cole? He make you come out your comfort zone. Like, yeah, you doing shit that you be, I normally do. Then when, when it come out, it be excellent. You know what I'm saying? And right off the bat, Dirk, I'd like to give you a gift here, some Bump J. What can you tell the people about Bump J? See, Urban Legend, you already see it right here, you know what I'm saying? Bump, I always show love, you know what I'm saying? He started this shit off, you know what I'm saying? So shout out Bump. And you met him through your grandmother? My auntie. Your auntie? Yeah, yeah. I mean, my first time meeting was at my grandma's house. Do you remember that? Yeah. What was that like? Crazy. Crazy, he came in the house playing his unreleased music and shit. I'm like, damn, that's hard. Were you doing any rapping at that time? Like writing any rhymes or anything? Nope, I wasn't doing none of that. I was young. Did it kind of inspire you to get going? Nah. I was just like, damn, this Bump J. <laughs> you know, like kind of starstruck when I first seen him. Quote, them choppa make him do the running? Man. Man, Maserati. <laughs> <laughs> you say what? <laughs> <laughs> You, Sicko Bob. How you doing that? Well, you were Little Dirk. We have to know it. No, nah, for sure. For yeah. sure. What can you see about that verse? That's incredible. Uh, I just try to be uh, different. You know, that's all I'm saying. I'm trying to be different in my music. So. so if you know, you know. In the very beginning, very beginning, you sent your music to Rude Boy Entertainment? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I told you that. <laughs> yeah. In Iowa? They were in Iowa? SB was in Iowa? Yeah, you do. What was that like? Crazy, you hear me? I recorded in the, in the closet. Um, they didn't believe, like everybody didn't believe in us. We was making all type of music. But yeah, shout out Rude Boys. I have another gift for you right here. What can you say about these Durkio chips? They are amazing. Best chips out, you know what I'm saying? These like these like the best chips out, the best, the best of the best. You know what I'm saying? So. And they're really hard to find in Chicago. We went to eight different places, and they were all sold out. And at the ninth, they only were available. She ate them all. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to restock. We but it's great. It, no, it was, it's a hot seller. There's lots of Nicki Minaj and lots of little babies, but not much little dirt. Yes, yeah, so how you found them? There was on a gas station. We went to like a whole bunch of different gas stations. Oh, that's hard. I appreciate y'all. Yeah, so look, so that's, uh, do you have, have you eaten your own? Yeah, I'll eat them. Eat them keep you them. can eat your own chips for sure. Yeah. yeah. I noticed the expiry date. It isn't, you know, it passed. <laughs> yeah, they passed. They passed, yeah. <laughs> and also, almost healed. Almost healed. And I have another gift for you, little Dirk, right here. A band from 1992, The Mummies. And do they kind of yeah. remind you of? Almost here for sure. Now this one I'm finna do. I'm gonna go do my research and see what they was doing, and I'm finna sample a couple of their sounds now. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, white vinyl as well. Yeah, I learned that from um, Metro. Metro taught me that. The mummies. The mummies. The mummies. The voice. The voice. <laughs> Chief Wook. My brother, Turkey Man. And who's in the room right now? Is he here? No, nah, he probably outside take a he probably outside take a picture. Where you at? Go get him, Darmy. Yeah, he chilling. What's up? I know everything about him. I can answer everything for him. <laughs> Andrew Barber, Fake Shore Drive. Oh, that's my dog. Yeah, that's my dog. Like, yeah, he was the first one to put like all the Chicago artists in, in in their spotlight. And he did like interviews with you, like the first time out of jail, out of prison. That's amazing. Yeah, he was like the first one doing like the podcasts and everything. He go work right here. Hey. Oh, hey, how you doing? All right, what's going on, brother? Good. I was just saying, what can I say about Little Dirk? Man, he's the, mother, the, the, the goat, the goat, the goat, the goat, the goat. That's all I can say, yeah. And what can you say about Wook? The goat. A hundred percent. We all work every day. And what about tonight at Little Cold Lemonade, Cole Bennett? Motivation. That is all time high. A hundred percent. Give me the faith to keep working. Now, who started the family? Who started OTF? Did you start the family? The family started the family. Because how you going to have kids? Grew up, had kids. Grew up, had kids. So we, we all started family. each other. The family started the family. St started the family. Yeah. <laughs> we all started it. And do 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 do
And actually, continue on. I was curious, Hamilton Park. Well, yeah, what about Hamilton Park? <laughs> what was it like in Hamilton Park? Uh, don't drown in that pool. And also, little Dirk, I have another gift for you. Right. I, I, I got more shit to I have another. I more shit. My birthday. <laughs> <laughs> right here, it is some Rocktober fanzine, and it's a Chicago rock and soul tour. Like, you can check out all the historic history from Chicago. So you put me on game. I ain't even know about this. In fact, you can actually check out 47th and King. Does that ring any bells? Can you drive? The Regal Theater. That's where the Regal Theater was. All right. So you can check that out. They still, they still, they still doing their thing? No, it's closed down now, but I guess all the historic stops are there. So you can check it out. And East 79th and Grove. Do you know that address? Same name, Cottage Grove? Yeah. My mom had it. I used to it. So right near there is Perv Staples Place. So you can learn all these different <laughs> locations in the Rock and Rocktober fan scene. I bet you put me on game. And so that's a gift for you. So sort of like some Chicago stuff. I appreciate that for real. I appreciate it. And uh, I have another gift for you, Little Turk, right here. We have, this is kind of important for you, some Bone Thugs and Harmony. You've been, you've been in my interviews. <laughs> you've been in my interviews. You can really dig the Bone Thugs, right? Yeah, this my uh, this inspired me to rap Bone Thugs Arm. And I thought, okay, it's vinyl. Possibly you can sample that. But here is a bit of research more that you can do on Bone Thugs from 2002. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. Appreciate this. See, this this the type of stuff I'm hanging on my wall. You hear me? Cause they, they they really started me rap. Quote, I came from Harold's Chicken to Eaton. You fucking me up. Lobster. See, I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes I be making shit around. Like, I don't eat lobster. <laughs> Crab leaves. You Stay down. <laughs> Stay down until you come up. Flaves. The restaurant Flaves. Yeah, it's gonna be mad soon. <laughs> Tell me more about that. Now just gonna be mad soon. I got new, I got, I'm gonna have a new menu out. Uh... I'm out of chips in there so you can find them easily. You know what I'm saying? Some new art, everything gonna be gonna be very nice for that place. What's a gym shoe? A gym shoe? Let me see. A food. It's an Italian sandwich. See, I don't eat meat. Oh really? Okay. I don't eat meat. I'm a vegetarian. What about dog's fish? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can help me. What's a gym shoe? Could you please introduce who do we I, my cousin? Is it not, it's not no, so a gym shoe is a sandwich that has corned beef, Italian oh, beef, yeah, yeah. It, right? They got all the different meats on there. That's what a gym shoe is. He don't eat meat, so he ain't never had it, but it's okay. Yeah, I, I have. it's great having a family around, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, because I'd be through it sick as hell. What can you say about Cole Bennett? He's not here right now, but what can you say about him? I was actually gonna give him a gift right here: the Super Bowl Shuffle. That's crazy, because I ain't giving it to him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping it. From 1985, this is actually nominated for a Grammy. This? Yeah. See, I'm going to keep it. <laughs> Inspiration. <laughs> See, I'm going to keep it. So, Cole, Cole, I owe Cole. But I, I was going to give that to Cole because he actually was calling out their draft picks. Like, Cole has really moved up in a row. Yeah, that's what he was doing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know he, he, got a lot of big, he got a lot of big things coming up, too, that I can't speak on that he probably want to talk to you about. But he got a lot of big things going on. But I'm definitely still in this, so you can call me a thief, whatever. Little Dirk, how hard was it to initially cut off your dreads? <sighs> it was the worst thing ever. Because when they cut my hair, the, uh, the, uh, the lady guard was like, why you cut your hair? But it supposed to be mandatory, and I'm like, what you mean? What the fuck I cut my hair for? Then they did me any type of way. I looked in the mirror. I saved my career over with. They cut me bald, all type of shit. But now I'm back. It's over. How long did it take to come back? I might have to go fast. You know what I'm saying? I'm, 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 I got all the type of shit in my jeans. I actually tried to interview you before in 2014. But, Austin. yes, in Austin. I tried to interview you, but you said a, you had a court appearance, your manager said, in 2014. Mm -hmm. And your manager also said you were looking for gigs. So I tried to get little Dirk some gigs. Yeah, now you're yeah. Now we're here. But yeah, everything happened for a reason, you know what I'm saying? That's amazing. See, 2014, I probably ain't had shit to talk about. <laughs> ba boom. <laughs> Anything else you'd like to add to the people out there, Little Dirk? Yeah, man, we finna save these kids in Chicago. We finna turn up and have fun. The tour finna be lit. It's over. 
Why should people care about Little Dirk? Why should people care? The same reason I care about them. Genuine love. If you don't like it, then come rock out of cold Benny one day when you make it. Well, thanks so much, Little Dirk. Keep on rocking in the free world and do 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 <laughs> do do. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still in this record too. I'll let you know this. Let me take a picture with this one. Hold on, wait. This is one of the books. Got it. Yeah, first of the month. Yeah, Monty told me about the. <laughs> For sure, Michigan. We always in Michigan. <laughs> How long you gonna do that? Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs>